He might have fell into my space and I think I could do this. Deep in the woods, deep in the woods, it was ringing real good. Phew. <laughs> ten inches down, ten inches down with a solid sound. Mule shoe, mule shoe, you're so sweet. I'm gonna Where's take mine? you home with me. I dug it up. Oh. <laughs> I dug it up <laughs> for my baby. Oh, it's a lizard. permission where I found the half cent. There's motorcycles going by. Um, so I'm going to hit this pretty hard with my AT Gold. I've been out twice with it already. I was out last weekend with the Hoover boys. Alright guys. I just got what I think might be a button. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of tacoed. <laughs> Could also be a coin, but I'm going to get Hello Kitty out and I'm going to clean it up a bit and see what we've got. Guys, they're looking over here. They realize that I found something. But let's get it cleaned up and see what it is. All right, so I'm gonna call it a button. I don't really see any shankage, but I think it's too thin to be a coin. So we'll get Kurt's opinion on it, but I'm gonna call button. Not bad, I'll take it. I found a taco flat button in nine hours and it was very depressing. There was no reflection on the permission. Oh my God. You should see what Bradley found. I hate Brad. You have to watch that video. It's amazing. Um, so it was no reflection on the permission. Just, you know, I was off my game. I had a family, a family uh, tragedy. So, so that was kind of, you know, it was a bad day for me. But the, the couple days before that, I was out with the AT Gold. I found another flat button. All right, so I got my first decent hit since the whole time I've been here. So we're gonna take it up and find out what it is. All right. Really cool flat button, um, but I want to find something beside a flat button. <laughs> Off the flat buttons. Um, so hopefully today we get a coin. We'll see. Um, I might go in and play with the ponies for a little bit. You uh, yes. Okay. The owner said, yeah, go in and play with the ponies. Just make sure you close the door behind you. I don't want them running in the street or whatnot. Um, so let's do this. Let's see what we can find. All right, guys. Um, so I'm kind of a dig it all person. If anything repeats, I usually dig it. Sometimes I dig the non-repeatable signals. Uh, I just got this part of a spoon. Definitely old. I just keep dropping it. Typical Jocelyn video, okay. <laughs> Part of a spoon, but I'll take it. First find of the day. All right guys, so I just got a decent signal here. All right, so, <laughs> appears to be a relic of some sort. I'm thinking maybe handle to a spoon, but I don't know. Couldn't get anything off it, it's just flat. But I'll take it. It's definitely old, so um, it's only a matter of time before we find that Vargie out here. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so I kept on getting a 70-something reading and this hole filled with iron. I finally got it out. It's just a little itty bitty bitty buckle. So I was missing the tine, but it's still cute. It's a buckle. It's a relic. Let's find some more relics. All right, so I just got another nice green something or other. Super green, it could be copper. Probably is copper. I don't know what it is. It's got like holes in it. All right, we are gonna find something good. We still have time left, so I keep at it to be treasure here somewhere. Um, as a last resort, I'm going in with the horses. I was gonna wait till the owner got home. He's totally cool with me being in there without him here, but I don't know, I've never really been around horses, so it kind of makes me nervous. 
but uh, I'm willing to give it a shot. They're really friendly. I was in there before, so. All right, let's keep going. So I got a cute little flat button. <laughs> the exact thing I said I wasn't gonna find today. Um, like maybe a little cuff button, it's pretty, pretty small. Um, there's gotta be more here. There's gotta be. It's gonna be in with the horses, that's what it's gonna be. Um, so, eh, I got my button. All right, so I kind of was steering clear of the road because I didn't want to deal with all the road garbage. Um, but I'm hitting this tree here. I just got this. It's a knife of some sort. It could be a razor. You know what? It is a pocket knife because it folds up. But it's got an eagle on there, so that's not bad. It's pretty neat, actually. So I got a couple uh, horseshoes here. Lots and lots of clad, but it's good because now I'm learning, relearning, I should say, the tones on the garret. All right, so I'm about ready to crawl under that fence. The owner's like, well, you just go in the gate, but the mud is like that thick underneath a puddle of water, so it's not happening. Anyway, just got an old buckle. Very cool. Um, he was saying that, well, this house is 1860s here. And the original house before the 1860s house was somewhere in this region, which makes total sense because I dug my half cent like right in the same area. Dug my tom back button right out here. So I'm thinking right under that fence here might be a good spot to hit because that's where I dug my flat button the last time I was here. So let's climb under that fence. This horse is like extremely friendly and doesn't really understand the concept of personal space. But I think it's okay. I like it. Oh my gosh, I think I just made a friend. Hi. Do you know what that is? It's a camera. Can you say cheese? Say cheese! Oh my gosh, you're such a bee. And you just want to be all up in my space, don't you? You want to be all up in my space and I think I can do this. Oh my gosh, you are so sweet. You are, yes, okay. All right, just got another little buckle, little brass buckle. Probably came up with one of these guys. <laughs> Beaten and tine, cute little brass one here today. Third actually. I'll take it. Let's keep going. Got um, about 10 more minutes so we're gonna get some. All right so just got a pretty little floral button. It looks like it was a two-piece that came apart when I popped the plug. It's just so muddy and it's been it's so brittle from being down there for so long. I'm trying to see if I can find the rest of it but I can. Very cute though. You can see the back of it. it broke open. Alright. Sun is setting, but I just dug an old piece to a buckle. It's probably a shoe buckle. It looks like Tom back material, but um Hard to tell, it's definitely really colonial. Um, cool. Ta da! Is it focusing? Probably not, because they're dirt all over my camera. Alright, speaking of tombacks, I just got a hit in the mid 50s and I just dropped it um, and popped it open and I saw the rim here. Uh, too low to be a coin, but not my friend. It's a beautiful tomback button. The last one I dug here, I hit with my shovel, <laughs> and I actually broke it. But this one is just fabulous. Let's try not to break the shank. Sweet. So my understanding is that's 
1700s. 1700s to mid 1800s maybe. You guys can correct me, you usually do. Look how clean that gets. Oy oy oy. I love Tom Bag buttons. I love buttons in general. <laughs> so let's see what else we can get. Alright, I just took a sweet colonial shoe buckle. My first one ever, complete. Super exciting. So I got a couple of buckles today. I got the Tom back button. Um, got a couple buttons actually, in addition to a Tom back button. All right, guys, my last two holes. The first one was part of a horseshoe and part of a suspender clip. So that's all I had time for today. The sun is setting up over the hills. So it's time to head home. <laughs> But I think we had a good day. I mean, we got kind of like a mishmash of a bunch of different stuff. All right. I will catch you guys later. Deep in the woods, deep in the woods, it was ringing real good. Ten inches down, ten inches down with a solid sound. Mule shoe, mule shoe, you're so sweet. I'm gonna take you home with me I dug it up I dug it up For my baby But he doesn't want it, no He says go Wash your hands Look what I found On the ground For my baby But he doesn't want Big diamond ring, just the thing for my baby.